Hi, Dave Taylor here, and I want to talk to you again about how to revive your computer. This time I want to talk about hard drives. Your computer probably has one of those old mechanical drives, and if you replace that with a solid state drive or SSD, you really will see a huge performance improvement. So the first thing you need to worry about is will it fit, but honestly, that's pretty easy. The question then becomes what are the other parameters you need to worry about in terms of picking the right SSD? To figure that out, let's start by talking about how a mechanical hard drive works. It actually works a lot like this elevator behind me. So there you are, you're a piece of software, and you request data, and it's just like pushing the button on an elevator, time passes, and eventually the data is given to the program. By comparison, on a solid state drive, there are no moving parts. So you push that button, instantly you're ready to read or write data. There's no delay. So, turns out there are a lot of programs that have these sort of I.O. constraints as we call it, and if you use something like Photoshop or iMovie or Vegas Studio, if you're a DJ, if you're a gamer, even if you just have a home computer and you just want to have everything run faster because, hey, who doesn't need more time, then a solid state drive really will make a huge difference in your performance. So how do you pick the right SSD? Turns out there are two factors you have to pay attention to. You have to pay attention to the random access speed and the sequential access speed. Most people focus on the sequential access speed when they're looking at SSDs, but just like this elevator behind me doesn't just neatly go from the top floor to the bottom floor and back, it turns out that the way your drive is accessed is also very random. There's a lot of bouncing around. There's a lot of things out of order and you need to make sure that performance is just as good as your sequential performance. This is why it's so nice that Kingston has this SSD Now V200 series because they've managed to optimize both random and sequential access and in addition made sure that it's at a good price point. So honestly you really need to check it out. Here's where you can do it and I will gotta say if you're looking to revive your computer there's very little that's gonna give you the bang for the buck that a good SSD drive will especially if you're upgrading from one of those old mechanical drives and I gotta say who doesn't want a faster computer I don't think I could ever have too fast a computer so check out the SSD drives for yourself and I hope that it helps you revive your own computer